Hi everyone, I'm Martin. I'm an exchange student from France, and today I'm going to present the first program of Campus TV. One of the school major concerns is to promote politeness. We are very happy that we have invited different teachers from different countries to speak about how much politeness is important in their culture. Here is the clip. Okay. Good morning, everybody. I want to tell you more about how Filipinos show respect. Now, in the Philippine culture, politeness is a very important value. We do not show politeness through our gestures or body language, but we show respect more in the way that we talk to people who are much older than us. Um, for instance, if I were to say, let's eat in my language, that would be kain na. But this is how I would say it to say my brother, to my sister, to my friends. But if I were to say the same sentence to someone who is older than me, I would add, I would add some words like, Po or po. So my sentence will be kain na po or kain na ho. Now these two words show respect to the person who you're talking to. At the same time, you can also use words like opo or oho at the end of every sentence. These two words show respect as well to the person who you are talking to. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Mrs. Singari and today I'm going to talk about how important politeness is, uh, to my opinion, for French people, as a French person. Uh, I believe that politeness is omnipresent in our life, uh, from early childhood to uh, the world of work or business, it's, it's uh, all the time. Politeness is one of the codes that you need to have it's included in savoir-faire, the know-how, and the etiquette. So basically, uh, there are five areas, but today we're going to talk about the greetings. So very important to greet a person. Uh, in France, we associate sometimes, or quite often, sorry, uh, the greetings with the gesture. So I would say hello, but at the same time, I would shake my hand, or I will give two kisses on the cheek uh, if I know the person a little bit better. And it could be two, depending where you're from, or three or four, but most common is two. Uh, so greetings is very important, uh, also punctuality, uh, even so French people have a reputation to be sometimes a little bit late, but no, uh, it's very important to be on time, uh, it means that you have respect to the other person and we are uh, so-called uh, following the, the, the code of politeness and savoir-faire. Uh, then we can talk about um, um, the language, because in the French language uh, we have many, many words to express the politeness, and we really have to put them when we ask for something. And we can distinguish, for example, the tu when you know a person, and the vous if it's more formal. So really, we have a special attitude and communication depending to whom we talk to. Very important. So the greetings, uh, the language, um, the punctuality. And then uh, we can talk about the, the table manners. It's very important from early childhood, you learn at home uh, to sit to stay all the time in the dinner if we don't have the permission from the parents. We have many ways we can put the, the, the plates and so on. We have very, a lot of codes uh, of how to, you know, to eat well and so on. And uh, we can also talk about uh, how to be a good person, like you hold the door if someone is behind you. Uh, it comes from the middle age already and uh, uh, it, it's a relationship between men and women and still today you have to respect each other. So basically, you cannot live without being polite. It's very important, and uh, it will follow you, follow you all your life. Hi, this is Mr. Mohammed. I was asked to share with you some very simple yet very vital practices we have in our culture regarding politeness. I thought about it. There are so many that we practice every day. I would like to share with you one which we use most common. It's very simple very, very, you know, useful. And that is the practice of how we greet each other. Whenever we come across, then we do the following steps. Let's say, for example, if I have to greet somebody, then I will try to take the initiatives. It's very polite to take initiative and go ahead. So I will take initiative and I approach the person with a smile, which is also very important. Then I will use two words. In my language, it goes like this. Assalamu alaikum. What it means is, I'm wishing him peace. And my opponent will say the same thing. He will say, wa alaikum assalam. That means he also wishing me peace. 
then I'll use both of my hands and shake his hand and he will do the same thing. Now in case this gentleman is the first time we met the first time he's a stranger to me then while we are shaking hands I will also introduce myself and he will do the same he will do the same thing he will also introduce himself to me. Then we will proceed on with our conversation. Now this greeting doesn't stop here. After we finish our conversation upon our departure then I will do the same thing. I will take initiative, I will, you know, uh, put on a smile, I will say assalamu alaikum, shake his hand, and he will shake my hand, and he will say wa alaikum assalam. Okay? Now that is how we greet each other. Now this greeting goes on and on. Okay? It doesn't mean that we finish here. If I meet him, let's say after 10 minutes, then I will do the same thing. When I go home, I will do the same thing to my children, they do the same thing to me. So this greeting is something very, very special in our culture. So each culture have got different ways of greeting. The most important thing is we greet each other. You may have another way. So my message to you is please greet whenever you come across anybody else. Okay. Thank you very much.